Good afternoon. Will all who are able please stand or remain standing? Distinguished and honored guests, I am Dr. Alan Bedford, Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs. We are pleased to begin the 2023 commencement ceremony for Bemidji State University's College of Business, Mathematics, and Science. In keeping with the significance of the occasion, please silence your cell phones. To begin our ceremony, I invite Emily Hickson, a senior from Bemidji, who received her degree in vocal performance earlier this morning, to lead us in the singing of our national anthem. Say, can you see? Thank you, Emily. The Iabe Drum Group from Red Lake Nation will render an honor song for today's event, our students, their families, and guests.
Miigwech, Iabe Drum Group. I would also like to thank Professor Scott Guidry, director of the Bemidji State University Wind Ensemble, as well as the members of the Wind Ensemble for the prelude and processional music. We appreciate their participation in today's program. There we go. Everyone may be seated. Bemidji State's land acknowledgement, which is printed on the back of your program, calls us to acknowledge and reflect upon the important and often challenging history of the land on which our university resides. I will read the first sentence in Ojibwe and then read the whole statement in English. In Kekendamen, Oma Ateg, Bemidji State University ing, Migo Oma Apene, Gay Ijidawad, Anishinaabeg, Minawa Bawanug, Oma Aking, Oma Geya, Nabi Kang, we acknowledge that Bemidji State University is located on land and water that is the current and ancestral homeland of the Ojibwe and Dakota. We acknowledge the painful history of genocide, forced assimilation, and efforts to alienate the indigenous inhabitants from their territory here. We acknowledge and respect the many diverse indigenous peoples still connected to this land, retained tribal sovereignty, treaty rights, and cultural resilience. Indigenous people are spiritual and physical caretakers of this land to which we all belong. Bemidji State University respects these sacred lands, stands with the community members from these nations, and will fight injustice in all its forms. Thank you. <clears throat> Parents, families, and friends, your attendance today is one more example of your support to our graduates and their accomplishments. Please give a round of applause to recognize parents, families, and friends for their love, support, and understanding as our graduates have pursued their education. In support of the many individuals who serve or have served our country, including 35 graduating today. Would all active military personnel and veterans please stand if you are able and be recognized. Bemidji State University, all in attendance, and those joining us online today, thank you for your service. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. John Hoffman, president of Bemidji State University and Northwest Technical College, to provide an official welcome for today's commencement ceremony. Dr. Hoffman. Bonjour. Hello. Welcome. What a great, exciting day. Uh, and uh, let, let me extend uh, another Ojibwe term to you. Miigwech in Wayne Dong. Thank you to all of you. Let me express my gratitude. And as we begin, graduates, today, this is about you. It's all about you. But before we get to you, Let's take just a moment 
because we've already acknowledged families uh, and friends who are present. So I'd like to invite them, as well as you, to stand with me and extend our gratitude to our faculty, to the student affairs educators and the staff who've worked tireless, tirelessly to provide you with an exceptional educational experience. I am, I am truly honored to work with and for these colleagues and grateful for everything that you have done this year and through the last several years which have been difficult for you as they have been for our students. Students, I am so grateful and thankful for you for the way that you make this university great. And I can't list all of the accomplishments, but I need to highlight just a few things that you have done just this year. In terms of athletics, over half of our teams have gone on to play in postseason playoffs. We have three NSIC conference championships. Our football team, for the first time in history, advanced to the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament, and our women's soccer team advanced to the Elite Eight. Just as important, we have 22 students who are approaching graduation who have achieved the Miles Brand recognition for earning a 3.75 GPA or better throughout their athletic career and over 50, it's too early for the spring numbers to come in, but last fall, over 50 of our student athletes achieved all conference academic honors. That is, yes. We've extended gratitude to our wind ensemble, just an amazing group of musicians. Our music program is growing. We brought back opera night this year for the first time in, I don't know, many, many years. And to the choir, you will hear from them later today, they made me cry twice. So truly exceptional uh, experience they provide. Academically, dozens, literally, of our students have presented at national conferences with our faculty. Some of you have co-authored works with faculty colleagues. You've brought home academic achievements and accolades. Perhaps more important to me personally is the way that you have engaged in service learning activities, contributing to the betterment of Bemidji and Northern Minnesota. I am so grateful. So you might be thinking that, hey, that's a pretty good year. We deserve an A. Well, let me share a quote with you. It's one that's been meaningful to me for dating back into the mid-90s when Jeanetta Cole, the first African-American president of Spelman University, shared them for the first time with me. And the quote is that an education that has taught you a new understanding about the world has only done half the assignment. The other half is for you to use that understanding to make the world a better place. So graduates, you got years, years ahead of you before you're gonna get this final grade. Because that's the Bemidji story. That's what sets us apart. Yes, it's a great experience that you have while you are students, but it extends. Part of your job now is to get a job, right parents? Get a job, hopefully in your major, but in some cases it will be in another field. But it needs to be meaningful work where you contribute to something that's bigger than you. You need to finish the assignment in terms of the well-being of your life and the lives of your family members, contributing. You need to complete the assignment when you engage others who are hurting 
who are oppressed or being harmed by interrupting, stepping in, engaging in leadership, and making the world, your community, your workplace, your family a better place. Part of the rest of this assignment is also giving back. Now, of course, I hope that someday you will choose to invest in the education of future beavers. But you may also choose to give to local community organizations, to a faith-based organization. It may be time that you volunteer with your friends and colleagues. Whatever it is, give back. Be a beaver and be a giver. So let me share one more quote as I finish up here by Janetta Cole. The truest, deepest expression of generosity is not giving from what you have, but giving from whom you are. In a few moments, you're going to hear the formal introduction of our commencement speaker, this year's distinguished Minnesotan, our 39th. And you're going to hear some pretty impressive things from her resume. But let me share with you, as you listen to her words, listen to her spirit. She has a Bemidji State story as an alum of how she came here, how she made her way through, and how she is giving back from what she has and from whom she is as a person. They, I heard the worms this morning in our first ceremony. Um, have your Kleenex ready. Powerful words. So students, again, miigwech, in wang don. I am grateful for you, for all of you. I am grateful for what you have done. I am grateful for what you are about to do in your lives and your careers. Thank you. Thank you, President Hoffman. It is my honor now to welcome Peyton Barber to the stage, who will speak to you this afternoon on behalf of BSU's Class of 2023. Peyton is a graduating senior majoring in marketing communication and minoring in mass communication from Madison, Wisconsin. While a student at Bemidji State, Peyton has served as chair of the Student Activity Fee Allocation Committee, president of Lifestyle Educators, secretary for A Active Minds, and hosted her own radio show on FM 90, BSU's student-operated radio station. Peyton's academic accolades include being named to the Dean's List on multiple occasions and, very recently, the faculty of the Integrated Media Department named her the Marketing Communications Student of the Year. Welcome, Peyton Barber. Good afternoon, faculty, family, friends, and the graduating class of 2023. I am Peyton Barber, as he just said, and I'm so excited to be standing in front of you guys today to congratulate you on all of your hard work. As someone who transferred to BSU during the pandemic, um, I'm happy to call Bemidji State my home and call Bemidji my home and soon to call it my alma mater. I've had some amazing opportunities and met some amazing people along the way, and I'm so happy that I transferred. As we reflect on our time here at Bemidji State, I encourage everyone to take a moment to appreciate all of the experiences that have shaped us to the persons that we are today. The late night studying for exams, to the early morning classes, to the cab events that you may have attended, to the friendships we have formed, and the, and the challenges we have overcome and contributed to our growth and development as individuals. Congratulations on your graduation from Bemidji State University. Today marks a culmination of the years of hard work and dedication and perseverance you have put in. We should all be incredibly proud of ourselves for achieving this incredible milestone. But graduation is not just a time to reflect on the past. It's also a time to look forward to the future and to the opportunities that stand ahead. We, the class of 2023, have a demo a a demonstrated the ability to adapt, learn, and grow. 
and I am confident that we will continue to do so as we enter the next phases of our lives. As we leave Bemidji State, remember to stay true to yourselves and your values, use the skills and knowledge you have gained here to make a positive impact in the world, pursue your passions, and never stop learning. Remember that success is not measured by material possessions or by titles, but by the impact you leave on others and the world around you. Bemidji State's goal is to instill and promote service to others, preservation of the earth, and respect and appreciation for diverse peoples in our region and world. I have no doubt that this class will reflect that as they move onward and upward. I want to congratulate each and every one of you on this remarkable achievement. You have worked incredibly hard to get to this point, and I have no doubt that you guys will go on to do great things. I cannot wait to see all that you accomplish in the years to come. Once again, congratulations on your graduation and best of luck in your future endeavors. To paraphrase the great Troy Bolton from High School Musicals 1, 2, and 3, once a beaver, always a beaver. Thank you, Peyton. First presented in 1981, the distinguished Minnesotan acknowledges the contributions of current or former residents of the state who have performed exemplary service to the people of Minnesota or the United States. Our 39th recipient of the Distinguished Minnesotan Award is Talia Palmer, a first-generation college student from Deer River Palmer received a bachelor's degree in psychology from Bemidji State in 2000. Today, she is a dedicated social servant and advocate for racial equity and community development across northern Minnesota. Since 2020, she has served as the president and CEO of the Grand Rapids-based Blandon Foundation, where she oversees grant making, community leadership training, public policy initiatives, resource stewardship, and more. She has become known for her skills in establishing and maintaining relationships with various government entities, nonprofits, and state systems, which has helped her secure more than $100 million in grants for community building. For her work, she was named to the Governor's Young Women's Initiative Executive Council in 2021, and was appointed as a member of the Federal Reserve Community Advisory Board for the Federal Reserve Bank of Minnesota. Please join me in welcoming to Leah Palmer, BSU's 2023 Distinguished Minnesotan Honoree, to our commencement ceremony. For that introduction. I'm so glad you're here. And may I say on behalf of Northern Minnesota and as an alumni of the university, welcome President Hoffman. We're so glad you join us. I'm really sick of hearing about myself in the news. I'm so happy this is about you. Thank you for being here today. Good afternoon, graduates of Bemidji State University class of 2023. Today is an extraordinary day and an extraordinary moment for you and the people who love you. And it is an extraordinary day in the history of Bemidji State University and for Northern Minnesota. Graduates, we are here to honor you today. We are here to recognize you and celebrate you and we are here together. We are here together. Many of you began this adventure in 2019 anticipating a typical college experience. You were excited and nervous and dreamy about what was to come. And we all know that did not happen. We cannot, under, we cannot understate the context of these four years for you. These years have been hard, confusing, and fatiguing. We all know this, and we have all felt this. During almost all of them, you sat in front of a screen and you learned. A sore back, 
too many carbs, strained eyes, and some of you did this with children, and some of you did it while working, too. We cannot understate the context of these four years for you, and we cannot understate the context of these for the educators of this institution. Universities and schools do not exist without them. And without education, what would we be? President Hoffman called me on a Saturday morning and I was sure something was wrong, and maybe I thought I was in trouble. Instead, he asked me if I would consider accepting this award and joining you all today, because he knows how much education means to me, and in particular, Bemidji State University's significance to Northern Minnesota. And you know I hung up the phone and I ugly cried in a grocery store parking lot while my kids worried something was really wrong. I wept because I carry thousands of stories, working with people and for people and alongside people who want better. Better lives, better communities, safer places to play and to grow and to work. And I cried because I have done nothing alone. It has been my honor to be trusted and to be a part of it all. And I am the president of the Blandon Foundation, a private foundation located in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, which exists because a man who was very successful loved his community so much, he left everything for it to be taken care of always. He wanted to give back what he received from the community. He was a philanthropist, and philanthropy at its core means the love of humanity. I like this a lot loving humanity. And I'm reminded daily of how we can be more like Charles Blandin by embodying that very principle. I know he would be happy to see how much of that spirit is alive in this room today. One of the best parts of my roles and responsibilities is that I get to travel around the state, in particular northern Minnesota. I get to travel like a bird back and forth across ecosystems, swirling from one community to another. I get to see who we are. I get to see our most tender spaces, our deepest vulnerabilities, our greatest desires for change. I get to see our best, and I get to see our worst. Very few people get this kind of privilege or responsibility. Unlike elected leaders and visitors with agendas, I get to listen and learn, and it tells me so much. At the bottom of it all, across big towns and isolated villages, sovereign nations and vast counties, regional cities burdened with deteriorating and shifting economies, Anishinaabe and 100-year farm families, is this pure and simple love of humanity. And many people are scared. And sometimes fear looks like anger. And sometimes fatigue and invisibility look like anger too. But underneath all of that is this, this love and this need to know we will carry on. It is confusing and it's hard to believe. But if you were able to see like a bird I believe you would see it too. Liminal space is a way to describe these four years too. We are not who we were, and we are not yet who we will be. What you are today, and what makes today so extraordinary, is that you are who we are becoming. You are a promise. You are hope. You are what we all need right now. To know we will be a better version of us. Because despite all of this, you did not give up. You are strong, you are adaptive and agile. You have grit and guts. You are determined and you have finished what you started. Given these past years of compounding confusion, fatigue, and powerlessness, it's easy to forget how critical love and generosity are. 
I have been a part of extraordinary change, and I have witnessed extraordinary transformation. To participate in this, the, in the most vulnerable moments of people's lives, is a gift, and you do get more than you give. I promise you that. The reality is that everyone can be a philanthropist. You do not need to spend your career working in nonprofits, cobbling shoestring budgets together, or helping in a soup kitchen. Although I promise you those endeavors will make you a better person and make you laugh harder than you knew you could laugh and appreciate more than you knew you could appreciate. Community at its core is about communing, connecting to something bigger than us, there are different reasons I have committed my life to community work, but at its root, it is because I felt a need to pay forward all I have been given. I didn't want people to know what I knew of the darkness. I had an adventurous childhood full of many experiences that could have pinned me under the weight of hopelessness and despair, but I was lucky. The generosity and thoughtfulness of people around me moved me through those spaces. And I want to be honest that I have not always been motivated by love. Sometimes an underdog is motivated by spite. And there may be people in this room who are more surprised than me that I'm standing up here. And spite does do things, but it isn't sustainable. Love is. We are born to learn, and we are born to grow. And that is the magic and power and purpose of education, to grow, to become better. Teachers are so special. In the 12th grade, I was a wreck, <clears throat> and I was ready to stop trying. Mr. Schwartzbauer, my economics teacher, called me after class, and I thought I was in trouble then, too. He sat me down, and he looked at me, and he told me, you are going to college, or I will not let you graduate. Then I was mad. Everyone knows you can't tell me what to do. But I did, because he believed in me. And I came here. I came to Bemidji State University, 18 years old, with $100. No plan, no friends, no family. Just this want to try to be better, and some crazy teacher who really did believe in me. And I really didn't know anyone who went to college, so there was no one to ask for help. I remember going to the financial aid office with a soft voice and tears in my eyes, and told them I didn't know where the cafeteria was or how to pay for food, because I didn't understand how it worked, and I didn't know anyone with money. She was kind, and she sat me down in a little room to the side, and she went through it all with me while water fell from my eyes and would not stop. Asking for help is a hard thing to do. You feel vulnerable and sometimes ashamed. Learning is a magical moment. It takes trust. It takes vulnerability. It is hard to say, I don't know. Sometimes saying, I don't know, can be used against you, and you can be harmed. And that mistrust can build up over time like a dam where we get stuck and unwilling to open up and to grow and to learn. To learn, we must feel safe. Teachers know these truths, but too often we forget the simple purpose and power powerful fundamental space of how learning begins through our lives. Being able to acknowledge I don't know in a safe place. Today we are gathered in an institution that is 104 years old, and hopefully it was one of those safe places for you like it was for me. Bemidji State University and Northwest Technical College has served tens of thousands of students making communities better places across the world. We are gathered in an institution that serves more than 5,000 students from 38 different countries, 36 different states, 15 sovereign nations, from small rural towns to large urban hubs. 
There are almost a thousand graduates today who are believed in, who are loved, who have grown, who are equipped with the kind of rite of passage many other graduating classes didn't face. We are in a room full of grit, guts, gratitude, generosity, and most important for those who have traveled to come share this day with you, glory. Look around you, look at you, look how beautiful and shiny you are and your beaming faces. Look at how loved you are and how many people believe in you. Take it in, soak it up, and celebrate. And tomorrow, or Monday, take some time to call, don't text, the people who believed in you and thank them. Let them hear your voice, let them feel your joy. Call someone you know who should be believed in and believe in them and help them with an application. Be the philanthropist that is in each of us. When you learn, teach. When you get, give. Today is a story that will live forever in your life. May you always remember how strong you are, how loved you are, and how powerful we are together. Thank you for letting me join you today, and congratulations. Thank you, Talia, for those beautiful and inspiring words. Now it is my honor to introduce Dr. Marilyn Yoder, Dean of the College of Business, Mathematics, and Sciences for the conferring of degrees. And now, graduates and guests, it is time for Bemidji State University to confer degrees upon the graduates who have assembled here today. Will reader Brett Barr please approach your microphone? Will the candidates for Master of Business Administration, Master of Professional Accountancy, and Master of Science degrees please rise if you are able? President Hoffman, these master degrees candidates have met all requirements for graduation and are recommended by the dean and faculty to receive these degrees. Congratulations. That's great news. By the virtue and of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Minnesota State Colleges and Universities, I confer upon you the degrees of Master of Business Administration, Master of Professional Accountancy, and Master of Science. Will the ushers please escort the graduates to the platform to be recognized? The first row of graduates may come now. The second row may be seated for a moment until directed. As you come to the front, we'll have an opportunity to shake hands or fist bump or elbow bump, whatever you're, you're comfortable with, and we'll have a photo in the center. Ready? Cody Hempel. Alex Geving. Caitlin Fredrickson. Matthew Ammon. Martin Waters. Gillian Harmon.
Leslie Rudrood. Zali Kaplan. Braden Ivanishin. Dalton Carlson. Taylor Knight. Erica Kleinschmidt. Taylor Johnson. Tamara Lowney. Zachary Conser. Amanda Kraft. Jamie Horton. Edward Carlson. Kimberly Shelton. Hannah Leffelman. Jasmine Torres. Hallie Shevich. Crystal Bowen. Annalise Johnson. Brian Angel. Melissa Rude. Michael Fritz. Congratulations, graduates. Will the remaining candidates for graduation from the College of Business, Mathematics, and Science please rise if you are able? President Hoffman, I present to you these candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Sciences. These candidates have met all requirements for graduation and are recommended by the dean and the faculty to receive these degrees. Congratulations, that is great news. And once again, by the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees for Minnesota State Colleges and Universities, I now confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Ushers, please direct the first row of graduates to the platform to be recognized. The rest of you may be seated. Again, as you cross the stage, I welcome to you to shake hands, fist bump, elbow bump, just let me know what you're comfortable with. Peyton Barber, magna cum laude. Natalie Fultz. Riley Pompa, summa cum laude. Lucas Larson. Marissa Pribble. Morgan Can. Desta Mizagadis. Ty Gooden, summa cum laude. Caleb Young. Nicholas Gerlach, summa cum laude. Mercedes Forsman. 
Olivia Arndt, cum laude. Helen Malady, cum laude. Abigail Kaler. Chanel Head, summa cum laude. Savannah McDonald, magna cum laude. Caitlin McDonald, cum laude. Kareen Denori, cum laude. Anthony Kildee, cum laude. Aaron Becker, summa cum laude. Sarah Went, magna cum laude. Alexander Iverson, summa cum laude. Benedict Corbett. Seth Tricker, cum laude. Spencer Kendall. Regan Goulding, cum laude. Georgiana Harbor, magna cum laude. Jenna Shadley Ash, summa cum laude. Michaela Fahey, cum laude. Ella Olson, cum laude. Dennis Quach, magna cum laude. Alexandra Schumacher, magna cum laude. Stephen Burton, cum laude. William Fisher. Mitchell Nemec, magna cum laude. Jack Hammerell. Michael Piazza. Evan Ladiff. Zachary Gronsberg. David Brown. Balin Conover. Shoma Iwasaki, summa cum laude. Reed Nelson. Tierra Das. Sherry A. Adams. Sherry A. Adams. Aaron Hughes, magna cum laude. Jackson Loshko, cum laude. Cody Beckerleg. Nathan Menefee, cum laude. Jared Crean. Yang Chi Lor. Kevin Smith. April Larson. Hallie Kate Catahan. Trevor Johnson, summa cum laude. Melissa Davis, magna cum laude. One second. Kylie Lang, cum laude. Carly Curdy. Kolu Roberts. John Verhulst.
Kira Loop. Kathleen Pachaza. Katie Emmons, summa cum laude. Elise Jordahl, summa cum laude. Lindsay Raisner, summa cum laude. Tani Press, cum laude. Travis Winch. Tyler Ziski. Jack Bovey. Augustine Gammon Deering. Evan Mischke. Nicholas Shug. Elizabeth Mullen, magna cum laude. Haley Finkbone. Amanda Duno. Ryan Tomchek. Thomas Hain. Takena Ogan. Nathaniel Duarte. Ronnie Wynn. Darian Gerdes, summa cum laude. Isaac Polovic, summa cum laude. Zach Nichols, magna cum laude. Brendan Betterman. Richard Anderson, cum laude. Ashley Hoheisel, summa cum laude. Liliana Gomez Goodman. Trista Hurd. McGregor Sharp. Eric McQuoid. Marta Christensen. Michael Navis, summa cum laude. Ryan Forster, summa cum laude. Matthew Fabian, summa cum laude. Dawson Stone, magna cum laude. Rosemary Kutzi. Natalie Cornish. Jeffrey Wood, cum laude. Joseph Eames. Allison Earhart. Cameron Green. Evan Walls. Stacy Seagull. Adam Jensen. Sarah Boyer, magna cum laude. Alexander Walden, cum laude. 
William Harbour. <laughs> Jacob Reith, cum laude. Kaylee Shodine, magna cum laude. Griffin Blegan, magna cum laude. Caitlin Macy, magna cum laude. William Gallagher, cum laude. Preston Lowe, cum laude. Makara Matthews, cum laude. Rumor Flatness, summa cum laude. Annika Stoskoff, magna cum laude. Paige Anderson, magna cum laude. Haley Ricard, cum laude. Jack Lundgren. Vossen. Benjamin Vossen, magna cum laude. Cade Hopperstead. Zachary Linseth, cum laude. Aaron Lyle, cum laude. Caitlin Klieski. Joshua Story. Brock Altizer, summa cum laude. Brian Hart. Madeline Updahl, magna cum laude. Lacey Rested, cum laude. Bailey Ayakinto, cum laude. Maximo Rodriguez. Angel, Ken, 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 Ken. Angel Kenkpen, magna cum laude. Tyler Hansen, cum laude. Connor Hexum, cum laude. Carter Jones. Will Smolik. Carl Deaton. Mackenzie Gladys, summa cum laude. Kevin De La Cruz Matias. Berg Christensen. Ryan Adrian. Tyler Bertelson. Emma Spaeth, summa cum laude. Anna Kalstorf, summa cum laude. Nathan Wallach, summa cum laude. <laughs> Emily Marchetti, summa cum laude. Capistrant? Yes. Caitlin Capistrant, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kendra Drager, cum laude. Tori Warren, summa cum laude. <clears throat> Olivia Scott. Damon Stangle. Damon Stangle. Dunham. Isaiah Dunham, cum laude. Dunham. 
Brian Larson. Joshua Collins. Ian Mott, summa cum laude. Matthew Quam, magna cum laude. Russell Zwiers, cum laude. Taya Hoffman. Cammy Bodie, cum laude. Thomas Earl, cum laude. Keyshawn Kramers. Jordan Francis. Riley M. Slander, magna cum laude. Spencer Udine. Abigail Lauterbaugh. Leticia Wickham. Christian Sutliff. Annika Thur, summa cum laude. Devaney. Hannah Devaney. <laughs> David Jones. <laughs> Daniel May. Awarded, po <laughs> awarded posthumously, accepted by Penny Jones May. Let the photos complete.
Graduates, you are now eligible to join the BSU Alumni Association, joining the tens of thousands of Bemidji State University graduates who have come before you. Roger Ryerson, member of the BSU Alumni and Foundation Board of Directors, is here today to welcome you into the Alumni Association. Well, hello, fellow Bemidji State University alumni. Welcome. On behalf of the BSU Alumni Foundation and the Board of Directors, I am honored to congratulate you on your graduation from what I consider to be an exceptional university. Today marks the culmination of four of the most unusual years of college life that you will look back upon. Your perseverance has helped you achieve this milestone in your life journey. Well done. I remember the excitement and pride I felt when I graduated from Bemidji State, but I didn't completely understand the true value of the education and the knowledge I gained while I was here. It was a different time then. Not many jobs were available when I graduated. And, and uh, it took me a few years to find the path that I could use my education for. I was excited. At that point, I. I started to realize how important my time at Bemidji State University was. Not necessarily the diploma, but what I learned about my field of interest and about life in general. Now, I wasn't the best student. Many people thought it was remarkable I was even going to graduate, to be honest with you. But I did find the right path, and I made it through. The more I look back, the more I realize how my time at BSU helped me shape my career. There are tens of thousands of other successful BSU graduates located across the globe in many professions that would agree with me that this was a great place to go to college. I know each of you will feel the same way. You will look back at your time at Bemidji State University as one that gave you direction, a lifetime of memories, and wonderful new meaningful friends. I hope I once heard a quote that said most things in life are blessed by the connections you make. I hope that you feel the same way about the connections you have made at Bemidji State University. I encourage you to stay connected to the university and the Alumni Association. It is a community of passionate and accomplished individuals dedicated to supporting each other and giving back to their alma mater. We are thrilled you are now part of this community. Bemidji State University and the Alumni Association offer many opportunities to stay involved. Come back for homecoming, help mentor students, stay in touch with your friends, and even call on an instructor once in a while when you need it. And most of all, be proud of your degree from this great university. Again, on behalf of the Bemidji State University Alumni Foundation, congratulations and best of luck as you begin your next chapter. Go Beavers. Thank you, Roger. And once again, graduates, congratulations on all of your accomplishments. <laughs> our program will conclude with the singing of our alma mater, which celebrates our graduates and expresses our pleasure at having each of you in attendance at today's ceremony. The music and lyrics are in your program. We sing the alma mater at convocation each fall to welcome our new students. And it is fitting that we conclude our ceremony with it this afternoon. Following the singing of the alma mater, I ask those of you who are not in the recessional to be seated until the recessional is complete. For friends and family in attendance this afternoon, we ask that you remain seated until the last graduate has left the arena. At that time, please exit Sanford Center where you will join your graduates. Will all who are able please rise as the Bemidji Choir will now lead us in song.